Hey guys, it's Erica from Brains to Beauty, and today I'm here to show you how I curl short to medium hair. I know it's not truly short. I technically have medium hair because it does hit my collarbone, but for me, it I totally consider it short. And it's completely changed. My whole hair care routine is different now that I have short hair. So let's go ahead and get started. So the curling iron I'm using today is this one and one fourth inch curling iron and I have it set to the highest setting which is 25 because I do have coarse Asian hair. My hair does not like to hold curls so I always like to put it on its highest setting. While I let that heat up I'm going to go ahead and start sectioning off my hair and the first section I start right above the ear and then I will split my hair right down the middle to give me two equal parts. So now that the curling iron is all heated up, we're going to go ahead and start curling. For this, I'm going to curl in opposite directions. Every other curl is going to be in a different direction. I always like to start in the back first because when I'm done with the curl, I can just toss it to the back. So this back section curls towards my face. Curl forward. I stop at about midpoint shaft and then I curl in and I hold it for five seconds. Then I loosen it till about an inch to a an half an inch sticking out. And then I curl the rest in, count again, five seconds, and then I let it go. I essentially curl each strand in two parts. Once I start getting to the top of my head, it'll start getting to three parts because the hair gets longer. This section, now I'm gonna curl away from the face, clip forward, again, halfway, curl it into the base, and again, extend it out. One, two. So I feel like I'm doing like an exercise video because I'm like counting, like we're doing reps, we're doing hair reps today. And then this front one, again, we're gonna go forward. So as you can see, it's just very repetitive and it's very hot, don't wanna burn my ear. It's just how I do it, it's how I do's. And then I let it go. So I'm just going to go ahead and start fast forwarding once I start getting to the top section of my hair where I start doing a little bit more sections, like three, four. I'll show you that. One to go. Okay, so this next section is going to be a three-part section, again, away from the face. It's the second layer from the bottom, so this is section one. Then we've got two, just pull it out a little, and then we're going to do it again, three, and then hold it. So in total, 15 seconds for this one curl. Okay, so at some point my battery stopped recording. My camera stopped recording. So we are now on the third section from the bottom, second section from the top. This is the front, back, front. And this is a four section curl. Meaning, we're curling this to the front. So this is piece one. Then we're gonna pull it out. Section two. Section three, and then we're gonna move it just a little bit, and then four. 
The reason why I do that is because now you can see the curl is all the way from the top to the bottom. Had I just done the bottom, I would have probably only gotten curl here. This part would have died really quickly and would have stayed loose. Okay, so we are done with the hair and now we're gonna hit up the bangs. So I'm just taking all of my bangs into one section and I'm gonna curl this up and away from the face. Very quickly, very quickly. I just do that to get it kind of volumized and then I'll just very softly run my wand through it, wand, curling iron through it, starting at the base and then just pulling it away from the face and then I kind of like try to blend it into my hair and my hair looks super crazy right now like super cray okay so this is the final look with my bangs done I noticed I was super like dark so I <laughs> adjusted my exposure but I don't particularly like my hair like this the curls are just way too defined I prefer it to be like more big and like curly so what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna use this deconstructed texture tease dry touch finishing spray this has a number three of five hold and we're gonna spray this into my hair then I'm just gonna take my hairs and uh, hairs my hands and I'm gonna zhuzh my hair for a bit I'm just gonna lean back and just at the root I'm just gonna zhuzh I don't like to actually run my finger through the curl. I just like to let it fall naturally. So I just put my hair near my roots. Hair. So I just ran my hands through my hair and I just zhuzhed. You can see I've gotten a mane. So then I'm just gonna take this texturizing spray and I'm just gonna uh, spray up it's hard to see what I'm doing with such a small mirror and then I'm just gonna kind of zhuzh it do you see what I'm doing here so I just keep it on the bottom and I'm literally taking my hand flat and I'm just patting it all I'm doing is almost like mixing the spray into my hair without like combing it through and then i'm just gonna do one big like coat again other side i need my mirror can't see anything lesson of the day do this in the bathroom where i can see so that is it for my tutorial i am so sorry up front if it was really long but i wanted to go through the nitty gritty details of how i curl my hair because there is a science and a math behind how i do my hair being an engineer it's really hard for me to let that go there's a lot of logic and understanding and process as to why i do certain things and i wanted to share those with you guys so i hope this was helpful if you guys want to see any other hair tutorials or have any comments or questions please leave them down below and of course if you guys are new to my channel welcome and make sure to hit the subscribe button to see future videos and yeah that is it don't forget thumbs up and I will do more hair videos for short to medium hair or so that I know that you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much for watching this is Erica from Reigns to Beauty hey guys it's Erica from Reigns to Beauty and happy Valentine's Day yay I am so sorry that this video is actually going up on Valentine's Day itself, but if you could tell from my voice, I've been quite sick and I was on travel for work, so my bad, but let's go ahead and get into the nail tutorial. So to start off, I'm going to apply a base coat. Next, I'm going to apply two coats of this light pink nail polish color by Julep. 